Hey, it's Metacosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we'll talk about the difference between Stanford Type A and Stanford Type B aortic dissection. With that being said, now let's get started. This will be a very quick video, but if you want the original discussion, watch my video called Aortic Dissection. We have talked about Jamie Dimon before. Aortic dissection. Before we start talking about aortic dissection, let's talk about the aorta. This is your beautiful heart. Out of the left ventricle emerges the aorta, like this, and then it arches like this, and then it descends. We call this part the ascending aorta, the arch, and then the descending aorta. The descending aorta, same aorta, has different types or sections. First one, we call it the thoracic aorta when it's in the thorax, and then it leaves the thorax going to the abdomen through the diaphragm, by the way. And then in the abdomen, it's called abdominal aorta. Aortic dissection is a tear in the media. The media is the innermost layer of the vessel wall, and then this tear will allow blood to come from the lumen of the vessel into the wall. This is within the wall, and then the blood starts to accumulate, and it can lead to many complications, as we have discussed before. But one of the major complications is coronary artery problems. Why? Because the coronary arteries come from the ascending aorta. Imagine that this tear and this dissection and blood accumulation happened here. Now you have blocked the coronary artery. Oops! And when you block the coronary artery, what's going to happen? Ischemia and infarction of the heart. If the aortic dissection happened in the ascending, the coronaries are in danger. But if they happened in the arch, or if the dissection happened in the descending, of course, it cannot affect the coronary artery. It's called common sense because the coronaries are coming out of the ascending, not the arch and not the descending. And that's why I'm a big fan of Stanford classification of aortic dissection because they said, you know what, let's be clinically relevant. Okay, a problem here is very dangerous. That's a freaking emergency. Why? Because a problem in the ascending aorta can lead to coronary artery problems, ischemia and infarction and death. However, a problem in the arch or the descending aorta is still bad, but it's not an emergency like this one, at least not always. So, if it involves the ascending aorta, we will call this dissection Stanford type A, period. Why? Because this area can compromise the coronary artery. However, if it happened in the arch or the descending, let's call it Stanford type B because we don't care that much as in cases of type A. So, type A, any dissection that affects the ascending aorta. Does it have to affect only ascending, ascending an arch, ascending arch and descending? We don't care. If it affects the ascending, it's type A. If it does not affect the ascending, it's type P. Oh, that's it? Yep, regardless of the site of origin. Do you think the management is gonna differ between type A and type B? You can bet the rent money it will. So, Stanford type A is dangerous. Why? It can affect your coronary vessels. So what? So what? So the management is surgery, emergency surgery, because it can lead to infarction. However, Stanford type B, which does not affect the ascending aorta, the management is you manage the underlying risk factors such as hypertension, smoking, etc. And that's it for Stanford A versus Stanford B, a very important topic for students to grasp because most students assume foolishly that all aortic dissections are created equal. They're not. Coming very soon, in this month, bleeding and coagulation disorders in my glorious playlist called Bleeding and Coagulation, such as Bernard Soulier, Glensman, DIC, ITP, TTP, HUS, Heparin, Warfarin, Epsiximab, Terofiban, Eptifabetide, Clopidogrel, Prasugrel, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to pickmonic.com for great medical mnemonics. And this is my website to get my premium courses. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionellas, where medicine makes perfect sense.